Hey, what's up, guys, and welcome back. This is your boy Eric with Eric Fish Tank. Uh, today, I'm going to be showing you here in the shop how my fish tanks are looking. This is my salt water tank. It's been going for about a month now. No fish whatsoever. And I'm kind of going to show you around. So, tell me what you think, what should we put in there, and maybe we'll go with that. So, somehow, Somehow, I ended up with this beautiful tank for free. Uh, a customer of mine, he got a buddy, uh, he got a car dealership, and uh, he needed the space, and he had this thing empty since COVID. So, I went in, and I asked him, hey, what are you going to do with that tank? It's been empty for so long, and he gave it up to me. His name is Marco from... Wichita, uh, what is Wichita Auto Plaza? Wichita Auto Plaza. If you guys want to look him up, uh, that's your shout out, Marco. Thank you for the tank. I'm stoked. I'm super happy, and uh, he he took care of me. So came with a couple uh, really cool uh, lights, and it has some corals, but they were all dead. So I decided to move those out. <laughs> I brought that uh, that coral that I had in the house. I like the style of this one better than the ones that he had. And then I had this one too, which adds a little bit more color. I think we're gonna end up adding a clownfish in here um, and something else. I don't know. This one it's gonna be 100% my wife's choice. She hasn't said let's go get a fish yet, so I haven't done so. I got everything for it. The sump is going on and I end up buying this. Uh, it kind of helps you check the salinity and some other levels. Um, they got a reef, tell me, give me that word. So anyhow, I got that and it's my first salt water tank ever. So I'm a little scared and skeptical about what to do with it. Like I said, it's gonna be 100% what she says. So whatever she says, we'll do. And Give me some ideas uh, so I can present it to her. If you have any really hardy, cool looking beginner fish uh, that we can add in here, let me know. So uh, I can present it to her and maybe she say yes and you guys are gonna be seeing that here soon. So tank number one, this one, looking great. Okay guys, uh, this is tank number two, the screaming water change. Uh, it's a little goldfish uh, tank it got used to have a snail but i think the snail is dead now so we got two black moors and then we got uh just a whole bunch of feeder goldfish that we end up not uh using them as feeders we just decided to leave them out here they have a, little, a lot of personality and they're kind of coolish fish we got one that's missing an eye so it's just kind of cool uh, they're cool to have it around so uh, this is a small 20 gallon tank i think and they're about three four inches now they're only gonna get uh, bigger from here and we do have as you guys know a uh, really big pond tank in the house so they'll be safe with us now gotta do water change here pretty soon uh, this is a little bit neglected tank that we have just sitting here, everybody feeds them. Uh, but I promise you, I'll do a water change this week. So this is number three, numero tres. Here we have a collection of a whole bunch of everything. Uh, we have a little too many uh, pink convicts. Uh, they're annoying, they're too much. They're always breeding, always having babies, fighting with everybody. But then I have my small collection of frontosas. Beautiful, beautiful little fish. Uh, got a goldfish here that we left here to start up the cycle. He's still doing well here. Got a baby peacock bass, as you guys can see. Uh, got a Colombian blackfin uh, shark. And then we got, and then uh, we got a whole bunch of uh, albino tinfo bars. So, so frontosas, convicts, peacock bass. Yeah, just a good mix of a whole bunch of little guys. Uh, we still gotta add substrate to these. 
but this is also another thing that I want to let my wife uh, eventually kind of put it the way that she likes. Uh, it's just a display tank at this point. Uh, we are going to remove a whole bunch of these fish. Uh, they're not going to live here forever, so because uh, if not, we're only going to have a peacock bass. You're going to end up eating everything. So tank number four. Uh, this is the 210 gallon that I just set up, the one that was sitting in the house for a long, long time. Kept telling you guys I was going to fix it and put it up, but I never did, and eventually I actually ended up doing it. So, this is it. Uh, we had a lot of really bad cloudy, uh, foggy looking water in here, uh, and it's been about a week. Well, I set it up Saturday. Saturday last week, yeah. So, a little bit over a week, and you guys can see the water is perfect now. Uh, I was reading, and it said, when water is like that, this lack of oxygen, not good for fish. We already have fish, so I put oxygen all over the place. I even attach a little line of uh, air into the wave maker, uh, and that's why I had to put a seat pad and all that stuff. That's gonna go away. It's not gonna always look, gonna look like that. This is the Bashir that we thought it was gonna end up passing away. And he was floating on top and he was acting all weird. And you guys can see him now. This is the one with the deformity in the back. So he's doing great. We save him. Now, oh. this is my beautiful uh, feather fin, clown, whatever it's called, is the metallic version of him. Uh, the ones that the guys over there, predator fins got. Uh, we got it through them, and then we got the beautiful pikes. So we get we got a good mixture here. We got a red Texas flower horn, uh, cichlid hybrid. We got my boy, claw knife, the pikes, and then we got. Let's see if we can get it. The longfish. Longfish is all the way back here. So, so you guys have an idea. That's a huge tank. It's massive. They got more than enough space. Uh, I did all the plumbing down there. Sump is working good. Uh, hitting at 84 degrees, so it's all good. Look at this guy. Perfect. Isn't he beautiful? Well, number three. Number four is over here. It's a red Texas uh, hybrids. They, they, these are some little fish that we end up uh, breeding out here ourselves. You can see them all the way back there. We have one, two, three, four. We got four of them. And I end up selling a whole bunch of them. So I'm happy we got four left. Probably then we're gonna get rid of these ones and see if we can break them eventually. We're working on this beautiful El Camino. We got it all prime. Nice and ready. We're about ready to uh get to the painting on this beautiful beautiful car this uh mustang we're doing some uh suspension work to it um, now this car is the triumph we did a full uh paint uh and color change on it it's definitely a beautiful beautiful car it's a very small car and now we're just in the whole uh, headache this uh, little brain twister that we're dealing with putting it back together uh, never easy uh, it's one of these cars that you're never done on one so putting it back together it's uh, definitely a challenge everything all these little moldings all the chrome everything got to go back in there and we'll, we'll get it back in there uh, we still got to do the windshield so really cool. Oh, we got this little Monte Carlo we're working on too. And then we got that 2022 uh, Volkswagen that got painted. 
but now we're just doing sand and buff. Beautiful, beautiful car. You guys can see. Bought a boat and bought a couple motors over there. Check those out. Good. That might be coming here pretty soon. Sooner than later, because if it if I wait too long, it'll be too cold. So we'll be in the water here pretty soon. guys so that's it uh, this is uh, the shop the where we work at uh, we do windshields we do body work we do a little bit of everything and now we got fish so uh, it's kind of like a little difficult sometimes you know making time for everything but fish are good I'm good I'm happy everything is good uh, now I need you guys to subscribe let me know what should I put on that saltwater tank and we'll see you in the next one. Eric with Eric Fishkin.